right, guys, welcome to episode eight of Ark. This is Gamer Cop here. So, if you remember last episode, no, not there. On up on the mountain, way over yonder, we uh, set up a trap to catch an Argentavis. Um, I died and lost a Tronodon on the way up there. On the way down, which you guys didn't know this yet, I died and lost another Tronodon. Then I used our final Tronodon to go and save all my stuff. Uh, yeah, so here we are. I just went around the island here, or not the island, I went around just this. Actually, I got all three of them right down there, but I got three more Tronodons. I got this guy, this guy, and then uh, this guy here. No, this guy was one I got. The one I already had was this guy over here. This guy was the one I already had, the lower level one. Um, so this one's been named Terry 2. Um, he's a level 18, he tamed out to be. Again, need lots more names for dinosaurs. I haven't named a whole lot of them. Um, yep, so Terry 2, we're going to take Terry 2 up into the mountain, and hopefully we don't die on Terry 2, um, quite honestly, so. And I also tamed another female tech parasaur, because I found one out here. I was hoping it was a male, but it wasn't, it was a female. So, regardless, we have plenty of tech parasaur females, for sure now, so we should be able to get a good farm going of stuff. Dodos, you got any eggs out here? Nope, okay. Anyone else got any eggs or anything? Nope, I don't want to access your inventory. Are you guys still good to go? Yep, okay. Miss Piggy, you lay any eggs? Nope, okay. All right, so we are gonna go uh, tame ourselves in Argentavis. Um, I probably actually need, I'm gonna need more narc arrows than this, than that. That'll be plenty right there. We'll keep those. And then we'll probably wanna bring us a good stockpile of narcotics. Yeah, we should be good to go there. We need some food for us. And then actually, so I did bring back eight crystal. Well, we'll grab the smithing paste out here actually as well. I did bring back eight crystal um, with us and partly to craft ourselves. Well, maybe it is in our inventory. Glass jar? What else do I need? Hide? Oh, whoops. Um, T. I said it is in our inventory, so I didn't need to do that either. But okay, yeah, perfect. So we have enough crystal to craft that. We're also going to learn, and I know I said this is a waste, but I haven't found one yet, and we really need one for this. So we're going to learn the spyglass, um, and we're going to craft one of those, which what do we need for that? Should have looked at that. Um, where are we at here? Spyglass. We need five wood and ten fiber. All right. Crafting. One of those. Put this stuff away. Uh, we'll put our crystal actually in our far box here. Uh, we'll put that in there. And that that can go in. We're not going to carry that. We just need the water jar. That'll be more than enough now for us. Um, spyglass, you can go down there. And you can go into there. And we can put you into here. And we need some meat to eat. Um, we'll, we'll just take half a stack with us. 24 down there. That should be plenty. Okay. We should be good to go. I I think we're as ready as we will ever be. Um, we'll hop on Terry here. We do have some levels up for us. Let's go ahead and level ourselves up real quick. Three points, huh? I think we're gonna put it in the movement speed, I think. Oop, all three of them. Okay, 55. So 55, let's get all the way down here. And RG Saddle's at 62, if I remember correctly. Yeah, right there, RG Saddle, 62. So we're getting close um, to that. Getting some more bullets. At Tapahara, so canteen's a good thing to have to be able to make one of those, but we'll need a fabricator to make that. But yeah, we're starting to get into some of the electronic stuff, which is great. If we have access to all these blueprints, by the time we get going with our base, there won't be anything really to slow us down. So I think honestly, our next goals, as far as where we're gonna start heading is, so right now we're still trying to set up. If our goal is to go through all the caves and our goal is to try to defeat a boss, then we need to have a really, really solid base to be able to produce what we need to produce, to be able to hold the dinosaurs we need, um, and we need a good location that we're gonna be able to start, you know, trucking lots of resources in to build. Yes, we are gonna build a nice base. I am gonna enjoy the game, and I am gonna build. I'm not just gonna build a bare minimum what we need. I'm gonna build what I wanna build, because I enjoy playing on here. So <laughs> that's what I got for you. I am gonna build what I want and enjoy it. Um, and if I do do another arc uh, series, I'll probably do it on a different map. I've been told that Ragnarok, I don't remember who commented that, but someone commented that Ragnarok is a good map as well to do. Um, but if, it does look like the sun's setting, but it's actually 720 in the morning, so it's a perfect time to head out. Um, we should go fill up our water jar, though. So we'll fly up just a little ways here. We need to avoid that bird. Bird steal stuff out of your inventory and eat it. And it's gone forever. A little bitter. I've lost a lot of stuff from those birds. <laughs> 
Our weight on this guy is not great, so... Oh, stupid bird. Um, so yeah, we just need to be very careful. I part of me didn't even want to bring this... Uh, gosh, you better not be a high level. I'll be so angry. Level 3. Yeah, you're terrible. See, I don't know. I just cannot find high level ones to save my life. I mean, maybe it's just this area, but at the same time, yeah, they're just terrible. Just terrible. But, uh, okay. Get our map out so I can make sure we need to head straight that way, basically. So I found following the river was, well, I shouldn't say it was relatively safe because I died doing it, but um, safe enough for what we're going to do. So, And you don't have, do you have anything in your inventory? You have a little bit of food. You'll probably need more of that, but we can get you some of that later on. Um, okay. So crossing the swamp is probably one of our more dangerous endeavors here. A lot of uh, very nasty things, obviously, in here. But having access to the swamp is also super important. And we're about to get... Oh! That guy would have knocked us off of our ride here. So that's why I need a little bit of uh, stamina. Find a good spot. We need to find a spot pronto to land. We're going to be out of stamina. Okay. Hopefully these trees protect us fairly well. At least until we get enough stamina to take off here. I'm going to keep you guys in for my journey this time. Uh, I wasn't, I was thinking about doing it off camera, but I'm going to do it on camera simply because my journeys, they, uh, they seem to be very exciting, I guess, in a lot of ways. So I'll keep you guys in for it. But uh, I'm going to try to land at half stamina a lot of the times or just take, I just got to take my time. I've just been pushing it a little too much. And it's hard because I'm used to different birds. So the birds I use, like my Tronodon and my Argentavis, I use on my server i play with i'm like oh you have a level up yes 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 actually oh you're gonna need more well we're gonna tame an argentavis we'll put it in your stamina because that's a little bit more important to what we're doing right now so i know you can't take off when you're leveling up i don't i don't understand it all right there's lots of dangerous things along this beach so we're just gonna take it easy try to land on high areas there's a titanoboa there but i don't think he'll attack us because he's pretty busy down there those things aren't dangerous until you, well, I guess until you attack them. Yep, now he's coming for us, but our stamina is full up, so we will keep going again. We kind of need to be kind of slightly canted this way. Or no, it's up past the volcano, so we need to go around this way. So, we're doing good how we're doing right now. Oof. Don't, last thing I want is the game to crash while I'm trying to make my journey. I think I pushed it a little bit there. We're pretty low on stamina. Okay, normally I wouldn't. I'd try to fly away from enemies, but we should be able to. We took those out pretty easily, so there's only a couple of them, so I figured we probably could take those guys on. Those are good sources of uh, chitin, but I'm not going to worry about it, and all their little friends are down there, the ones that can't fly. Those ones can't get to us, but uh, we're not going to worry about getting any chitin or anything right now. Our main goal is to get up to the mountain, and if we get an Argentavis, Argentavis are really good fighters as well. Um, so they're just an overall good bird to have. So, air birds over there. We definitely want to land away from them. If we can't make it to this rock here. Yes, yeah, so last time I died was right over there on the other side of that ledge, I believe, somewhere up in there. But uh, I just landed and then I just got just destroyed. And I tried to hop off my Tronodon because I knew my Tronodon wasn't going to make it at that point, but my efforts were feeble. All right, so we'll work our way around. The Argentavis, you would only have to land a couple times probably because they have a lot more stamina as well. They're they're slower for sure than the Tronodons. Not don't get me wrong, but at the same time, oh, that's a Carno there. We want to avoid him. The Carno seem to be able to just climb on rocks. He's over there. I'm gonna get a drink of coffee, and hopefully I'm not gonna regret that. Okay, we're doing okay. Nothing's attacked us yet. Stamina's good to go. Let's get going again. Okay. And there's probably higher level Tyrannodons in uh, more dangerous parts, but I've, I've still, I've never had any issues until this game, this gameplay, um, finding like a level 60 or 70 even just around the beach. Or not maybe that high even. I'll say, are you dangerous? No, you're not. You're just a little sheep or something. Okay. All right. 
Onward we go. I think that that's the mountain we're trying to. Is that the mountain we're trying to get to? I better figure out where we're going here in a second. I thought it was more over off to the right. Oop! Don't glitch out on me. All right. Yeah, it's right. That way. Yep, that is the mountain. Okay, so that is the mountain right there. Gosh, it seems so far away. Oh, well, at least if we're flying the Argentavis... Well, we can't fly the Argentavis. Never mind. Getting the Argentavis back to base is going to be tricky as well. That's, huh, I'll do that part off camera. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I'm thinking trying to tame an Argentavis this far away from the base. I should have brought... Well, I can't craft a saddle yet. I'll say I should have brought a saddle, but I can't even craft one yet. So that would have been kind of hard. Ooh, see, this is a dangerous spot predicament we're in. I see dangerous things around us. We're low on stamina, and we're right here on the ground. Okay, come on, stamina. Get all the way up. Perfect. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, flying through the air gives you the ability to kind of fly over a lot of dangerous things that you would encounter. Otherwise, you need just massive dinosaurs and multiple of them to tra traverse the island on the ground safely, I'll say. But uh, let's land here. All right, so far so good. It would be a darn shame if we died at this point because we've made it so far, but I would do, I'd redo the trip off camera probably, <laughs> even if my trips are pretty exciting. But yeah, this is, we're gonna try to make it over to this ledge over here, which actually, is this where, this is a good base location here as well. Nice, right next to the mountains. Hmm, I may reconsider our base location, but I need to reconsider that quickly. Okay, we need to get as far away from that Car Carnotaurus as possible. I know I really pushed our stamina down, but if we landed too close to him, he would have gotten to us before we regained any. So sometimes you gotta make those difficult calls. Oh, man. Oh, those compies. They're not gonna attack us until I take off. Well, usually they don't. They're trying to. But we'll be good to go. Got away from him. Whew. There's a lot of Allosauruses up there at the top of that hill. I know that because they've killed me. And there's an Alpha Carno down there. That's what that red glow means. And there's a regular Carno down there. Let's uh, head up over here. See if we can avoid all of that. Sometimes, too, if you fly low enough, you'll aggro them and they'll chase you to wherever you land. So you got to try to avoid that as well. Again, it's less of a problem when you have more stamina. The Tronodon I normally am used to using has over twice the stamina that this one has, but... Oh, there's a T-Rex down there. You can see straight up over there. Oof. We're going to try to avoid him, obviously. <laughs> I think it's almost safer for us to go through the woods at this point. Bronto down there. Ooh, yep. Bronto in here. Brontos are friendly unless you attack them. So those guys are good to go for us. And we'll say the nice thing about T-Rexes, and a lot of times the Carnos as well, is if they if there's other dinosaurs around you, they'll probably attack them first, usually before they go for you, just because they're they're just out there to just to kill things, really. So they don't really care what they're killing as long as they're killing something. Alright, we're getting close. We are getting close. I'm gonna go ahead and land here. As there's sometimes some dangerous creatures that'll sneak up. Maybe I need to keep recording with you guys in because that seems to seem to live longer doing that. Again, I have not I'm yet to make this trek without losing my flyer and without losing my life. So um I'm hoping I can <laughs> make this trek back with a couple of Argentavises uh, if possible. You can aggro the Argentavis by shooting it on the ground and then running through, but I find it easier to use a flyer, if possible. But yeah, now there's just now it's just us and some Argentavises. But uh, once we get up to the top, we'll start looking around for one that we want. Actually, we probably could just start doing it now. I know the trap is set up. What level are you? So this is where the eyeglass comes in handy. Because you're able to see what level they are. So that's level 9, not super high. Just make sure you don't get on your flyer when you're holding it. Because if you have it out when you're on your flyer, it automatically has that. You can't not have that shown. We don't want that guy. That guy's pretty low leveled. 
looking on the arc wiki as well this is one of the highest uh most likely areas for them to spawn which is good news there's an explorer note there i don't really want to waste it on you get an xp bonus for using it but try to jump off without jumping down the mountain here see all right well two you're terrible what are you well four gosh the rg is gonna be the same way where i cannot find a high level one to save my life there are a lot of work to get going to get you know just the effort you have to put in to get them tamed so i don't want to just waste it on one that's not worth it what level are you why won't you show me your level? That might be too far away. Well, I didn't know this had a range. Oop, there's no problem there. All right. Well, I'm going to look for a high level RNG and then I'll bring you guys back in uh, once I have it aggroed. All right. So I aggroed this female because she's, I mean, she's only level nine, which is terrible. But at the same time, um, we could just use her as an egg layer um, if we don't end up using her as our main cargo carrier anyway. So we'll just tame her real quick. I'm a little disappointed in the uh, low numbers of uh, high-level tames that we're getting here. All right, let's land here for a second. Should be able to regain some stamina for... Yeah, she de -aggroed. Or No, is she still? No, she's not, I don't think. All right, get her stamina back up. There we go. She's pissed again. Then else up here, it's going to cause issues with the taming. So the trick here is, no, you need to come after us. He's getting them lined up. Oh, oh, we missed. This is a little bit difficult sometimes. There we go. Run around. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Passive. Nope, don't fly that far away. Well, anyhow. It'll take her forever to damage that gate, so... Now we just have to knock her out. All right. Headshots are good until they start getting too bloody. He's starting to fly away, which means starting to get high on the torpor. There we go. Beautiful. I didn't bring any meat. Darn it. Darn it, Terry. You're supposed to remind me to bring meat. Okay, so Terry and I are going to go kill some low-level something or other and get some meat from it. Um, bring it back up here so we're gonna just keep an eye on how she's doing uh based on this and if see the health is super low one more shot we would have killed her with a trank arrow so that's a little concerning it obviously it can go south pretty fast but uh yeah so that's how you tame them you just knock them out and you feed them some meat so we're gonna go ahead and uh get some meat over to her go find some of that and i guess terry has some doesn't he but now he doesn't he's out anyhow i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, it is tamed. It is RG, the wonderful bird. Um, so what we're going to do, since I do want to tame a second one as well, this appears to be semi-safe down here. I also want you to be set to behavior, passive flee. That way you run away instead of get involved. Okay, so we're gonna get the trap reset and rinse and repeat, essentially. We're gonna do it again. So put that um, away for now. We don't need anything out. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find us another high level one. Um, well, I, another high level one. Try to find us anything that's of any remote level. Anything, maybe two digits I would take. I mean, geez Louise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now I can see why, especially with something that's going to aggro on you, why you need the spyglass to take a look around. But uh, yeah, so I'll try to find us another one. Um, no promises, to be honest. And then I'll fly them back to the base um, 
Well, I'll bring you guys back in once I aggro another one um, and we get it going into here, but uh, then I'll fly him back to the base uh, off camera just because that'll be obnoxiously slow. Um, anyhow, that is what I have for you guys. I will continue to look for more Argentavi that are worth uh, my efforts in taming. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit, hopefully. All right, folks, I am back right away. That is a level 20. Woo! Ooh, mama. All right, we just fly slow. You should be able to keep up with us. Speed up a little bit. You don't burn through as much stamina this way either. Let you get a hit in. Make you feel like you're accomplishing something. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, yeah, keep coming. Now I'm going to fly ahead of you. So I can rest. I don't want to lose sight of you. We'll land, buddy. I'm supposed to rest. That did not work out. <laughs> Fly back up. Keep an eye on him. All right, get some stamina built up. Come on. Yep, all right, he's not aggroed right now, but he's right up here, so that's good. Yeah, level 20, which is not... I mean, that used to be like the bare minimum I'd take, but at this point, whatever. At least it's a male and a female, so we could always breed more if we really wanted more low-level ones. I'm going to try not to do too much damage to their health as well. Let's see, is that going to work? Oh, I missed him. We got to reopen the gate, though. All right, we'll reset. We'll get up here. Land. Oh, now he's attacking the gates. Come on now, buddy. It will never destroy him. It would take him hours to destroy them. But regardless. I wonder if I could actually get him egg road here. Just this guy. I'll, draw. I'll walk past him here. There we go. Yep, come after me. Oh, you missed, you dingus. Oh, that was a good hit there, buddy. See, if I start shooting him, he'll he might fly away. Okay. Oh dear. Oh no. To be south fast. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Well, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna try to recover us there. So I will. Uh, I should have put a bed up there. Darn it, that was really dumb. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully. Shockingly. I, uh, I, so I'm just going to tell you what I did real quick with it paused. So I, I respawned in a location close to here. Not, I just did a random respawn, which is another option you have. Um, and then I ran up here naked and I actually survived and none of the dinos died. So that is good news. I mean, so there's some good news to it. We're just dehydrated, but we can, uh, well, they're all down there. So we probably haven't lost our level 20 either yet. Then try to get down here. Not drawing too much attention to ourselves. Oh, you son of a gun. Let's get you up here. We're not dehydrated for some reason anymore. Is that the level 20? Oh, and I don't have my looking glass. Let's get you trapped. And this time we're going to do it from our bird so we don't die. Hopefully. Nope, that didn't work. Hop on the bird. Get out of here. All right, let's go grab our stuff. We need to get our stuff before it despawns. And then we'll worry about him. Transfer all. He coming after. He's attacking our stupid wall up there. That'll be fine. Okay. Um. Woo. Okay. Ooh, doggy. Back after him. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I can't believe I ran up here. I ran past so many dangerous things. Yeah, let's get our stamina built up. Is he inside? Oh, he was for a second though. 
All right, we just got to be fast. This is not easy for sure. There we go. Fly after me. Oh, you missed. Darn it. You? Oh, he's attacking that. This might be one where we just fly around and knock him out. <laughs> Oh, well, I got that from the back of my bird. I didn't even know I could do that. Sorry, I was a little quiet there. A little focus. Oh, but he is stuck. Oh, we got him. Oh, man. Oh, he's a level 30. This is even a better one than we found before. Wow, what luck. Oh, gosh. Well, I don't know about luck. Oh, now we just got to pump him full of darts here. Or her. It's a her. Oh, we don't have a male and a female now, but this is a good level RG. I mean, that's going to tame up to about a level 42-ish, maybe? We'll see. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Okay, folks. Well, I'm going to tame this up, but that is going to wrap up this episode here. <laughs> On that scary note. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, yeah, I... Oh, what a crazy episode. I don't even have any clothes on still. Oh my goodness. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, that's what the arc's all about. You just have to be very... I mean, I have, an, I have a little bit of an adrenaline rush from taking care of that. These are the stupid things. Nope, no, I don't want... The, oh, did I eat that? Hopefully I ate it. Oh, I ate my other thing. It's okay. Okay. Um, I don't need that or that or that or that. So we'll get those out of our inventory. Um, yeah, what a crazy game this is. Uh, it is definitely one where you things can go south very quickly. Whew. Well, that's a good level, RG. That's a good result to our day. Oh, now we just got to get that back to the base, darn it. But uh, anyhow, guys, Whew. if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Gamer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Gamer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.